This is boot last. You need to work with it when you want to create boots. But in today's shoemaking tutorial, I will show you how you can save your money when you want to create boots. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Right now, I will explain you why you don't need to buy this specific boot last. And in the upcoming tutorial, shoemaking tutorial, I will show you all the tools and materials that we use in our new shoemaking course. Dr. Martin's Boots course and even alternative tools that you can make by yourself, even industrial machine like sanding machine. So don't miss tutorial and subscribe to my channel if you still didn't subscribe. And let's start it with this tutorial. Let's take close look on these two different shoe lasts. So this is special boot last and this is cord shoe last. What is the difference? Boot last has a bigger volume here in the instep and it wider here in the top column part. Also the boot last, uh, the edge of the boot last reaches the ankle bone and it has this curved line that repeats the heel and beginning of the leg. In the cord last, we don't have all these features. In the cord last, we have short top line. It doesn't reach the ankle bone. The volume here is much smaller. And also the heel here has this curved line, not like in the boot, in the boot last. Regardless to all specific features that boot last has, we can use Cord shoe last to create boots. And in our new course, Dr. Martin Wood course, we made this Martin's boots using this cord shoe last. What is important in this cord shoe last is the shape of the toe to be similar to the original Martin's style, boot Martin, Martin style. Okay? Now, how we used non-special boot last, simple cordulas to create our Martin boots. To create boots working with simple cordulas, we used my favorite technique, pattern making technique that allows you to create boots working with cordulas. So how this technique works? We took all the features that our boot last has and included in pattern construction of our boots working with cord shoe last. Must lay tightly to the feet. And from this point, we can make it a little bit wider. And at the end, we got this boot pattern that has all the features of original boot last, like line of the heel here, the volume that we need to have to enter our feet, and also the length here, the width that we have here in boots, any boots. Why this is the best solution for you? When you will learn this pattern making technique to create Dr. Martin's boots, you will know how to make any other boots. And this is how you can save money working smart. If you will buy boot last, you can make only boots using this last. If you will buy cord shoe last with the toe shape that you will like, you will be able to create many different footwear types. Loafers, pumps, sneakers, Oxford, Derby, 
boots, for example, Martin boots, like we do in our new course, Dr. Martin boots, and many other footwear types. So don't waste your money, invest smart, and see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you for watching.